kitty cats. We're cute. But I'm cuter. Me, Me wow. wow. Sunday. Early one Sunday morning, Mommy was going to the gym, leaving cookie, candy, and pudding at home with Daddy. Uh, uh. I'm off to my exercise class. Have a nice time. I'll take great care of the kittens. Will you be all right without me? We'll be just fine, Mommy. Yeah, we're never ever bored with Dad. Yes, you're right about that. Bye, my loves. Dad! 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 Let's play with my dollies. Hey, Dad, let's play some chess. And darts. Uh, all right, my wonderful children. It'll be dollies, chess, and darts. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. But where was Daddy? Come on! Hey. Are you going to play with us? Yeah, I'm coming, my beautiful children. Here's the plan. Miss Kitty Lou needs to try on all these pretty new dresses. Mm -hmm. Here, I've got the chessboard. I'll be white. Hmm. Magnetic darts. Here, Dad, just hold the board. Sounds like tons of fun. Okay, here we go. Hooray. Oopsie. <laughs> oh, no, Dad's gone back to Sleepy Town. So the kind-hearted kitties let their hard-working dad have a well-deserved nap. Sort of. Wakey, wakey. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Tickle, tickle. tickle, tickle. Oh, Tommy Rob. Mm. How are we ever going to wake him up? I've got a great idea that just might do it. Oh, Daddy, water you sleeping for? But pudding, <laughs> if he gets all wet, he could catch a cold. <laughs> I feel... Well, we could find something super crazy, massively loud, and put it next to him. Oh, Daddy! <laughs> but, Cookie, that would probably give him a horrible scare. How, How should, should we, we wake, wake him, him then? then? Maybe we just shouldn't. Why don't we all be nice to him and let him have his nap? When he wakes up, he'll have lots and lots of energy for playing games with us. Good, Good idea! idea. Shh. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. Nighty night. Mm. So do you think he's slept enough yet? Not mm. quite yet. And now? Mm. Well, I guess he might have. Can't really tell. Mm. Then shouldn't he be waking up? Stand back. I got this. Hello? If they ask, I'm in the factory doing a toffee inspection. Nap time. Ugh. I've got an awesome idea. When yeah. Mommy sings me lullabies, I rest way better. Why don't we sing yeah. Daddy one? Quiet kitties, Dad's asleep. Please don't purr or make a peep. Tired Daddy, close your eyes. We'll have fun when you arise. So, I see you're playing with Daddy wasn't boring at all. Wake up, my sleepy heads. Mom's here. Oh. Uh-huh. I'm 100% awake, rising and shining. <laughs> hey, get up, kids. Oh, can't we sleep just a bit longer? Because it is Sunday, after all. Well, I suppose. Just keep on sleeping. But me and Daddy will be having an awesome time outside, tossing this wonder disc oh, around. Oh, boy. Uh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> what? You got us a wonder disc? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Whether taking a little nap or playing together, Sunday is a wonderful family. Harvest! One day, Mommy and Daddy took the kitty cats to visit Granny in the country. Granny! Meow! Oh! Welcome, my little dear ones. You're gonna play with us all day, like last time, right? Yeah! Bye-bye, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. kittens! Bye! Bye.
Bye-bye. Play, play. Play, play. play. Uh, we will be having playtime. But first, I have to spend a little time taking care of the crops that are growing in my garden. Just look at all the things I've planted. Apples, carrots, strawberries, flowers. And all of them need to be looked after. Hey, I've got a great idea. Let's help Granny do her gardening. That way she'll be done with her work sooner and have extra time to play with us. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Put your paws up if you're having lots of fun. Cheer up, kitties. After this, we get to pull all the weeds out of the garden and water all the flowers. If we do all that, we won't have time to play. Look, maybe we should skip something, like scraping this dirt around. But digging the soil is very important. We can only plant potatoes in loose soil. Doesn't work any other way. Have to loosen the soil, or you might as well plant your potatoes in concrete, which is impossible, by the way. <laughs> Skip the part where we pull all the weeds out. But weeds can mess up the look of the whole flower bed. Imagine if your mommy decided to just stop cutting her hair. Before you know it, her hair would completely take over. Ha! My darling, huh? Oh. Ah! Oh, no. ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but what if we um just uh wait until next time it rains instead of watering everything now? But plants need water every single day, just like us. What if your daddy decided he'd wait for it to rain before he took his next shower, huh? Yay! <laughs> All spring. <laughs> Gosh, looks like plants really count on us to help them live their lives. We have to take care of the plants. It's the right thing to do. I'm going to march right into that flower bed and get rid of all the weeds. And me and Pudding will take care of the soil. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's Kitten Made Rainstorm time. Would you like a nice drink, Mr. Apple Tree? The carrots are taking a shower. Now your leaves are so clean, strawberries. This will help all the flower buds to open up. The kitty cats got so involved in helping with the garden, they forgot all about playtime. Almost. Phew! You're such good helpers. Well, now that the garden work's all done, is it playtime? Uh, sure, yeah. Why don't we play the harvest game? Is it a really fun game? Ah, uh, it's tons of fun, and it's helpful as well. <laughs> Granny and the kitty cats had a great time collecting all the crops and washing them with cool, clean water. And now it's time to taste all that we gathered. That sounds great. We could really use a break from the game. Um, mm, mm. Oh, I love strawberries so much. Um, it's all because of your hard work. Mm, Thank you. You're the mm, world's best brand mm, kittens. So awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. Oh. <sighs> well, you must have played really hard all day to get this tired. Yes, I don't think any bedtime stories will be needed tonight. Bring them back any time and maybe stay yourself. There's a few games I'd love to see you playing. Oh, yeah, like that game you taught me, Paint the Barn. And what was that other one, Chopping Firewood? <laughs> I've got a great idea for a new game. Who will fall asleep first? Oh, I win. <laughs> the kitty cats had gathered a delicious harvest and had an absolutely wonderful day. Aliens. One evening, the kitty cats were over at their friend Chase's house. Every evening, I look up at those stars. I hope someday I'll spot a real UFO and get to meet some real aliens. But no one's ever found a real alien ever. Oh, yeah, I know. Kittens, time to head back home. Thanks very much for having us. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows if aliens will ever visit Earth? 
They sure haven't come here yet. I feel bad because Chase really wants to meet aliens. What if he waits forever and then it doesn't happen? Forever's a really long time. I feel bad for him too. Why don't we pretend to be aliens for Chase and tell him we come from a planet way out in space? Great idea. Think how excited he's going to be. So, so awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. The next morning, the kittens dressed up like they were from a distant planet. They put on hooded raincoats, headbands with antennas, and cool sunglasses. Oi! One second. Thanks for your help. Hey, shouldn't our voices sound different? If they don't, Chase will know who we are. Salutations from space, Earthling. We are aliens from the faraway planet Catavius. We come in, uh... In peace. No way! Real aliens? Awesome! Oi! I've been waiting for you to come. Guess you learned our language. What language does everyone speak back on Catavius? It sounds like this. Meow, 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 meow. That's really funny. Tell me something cool about the planet you come from. Hmm. The gravity on our planet is so strong that everybody there must bend over and walk four-legged. We also use four legs to climb up crazy space trees. And if we do ever fall down... <laughs> we land on all four legs every single time that we fall. And sometimes beams of light appear, and everyone tries to catch them. It's the favorite sport on our planet. <laughs> what a fascinating place. And now I'll tell you how we all live. This is a rocket to fly into outer space. And this is a swing. This is a ball. Chase told the kittens many things that they, of course, already knew. It's a pillow for us to put our heads on when we're sleeping. This is a clock. Its job is to tell you the time. This is a telescope, a present from my dad this morning. And this is a book. It has pictures. We were supposed it's to be back home for lunch. It's we're late. Yeah, yeah, but how can we leave? I've got a really good idea. Here's the way to open a window. And here's the way to close one. And this is... Thanks very much, Earth Creature. But we must depart now. Otherwise, our, uh, spaceship will just take off without us and we'd be stopped. You guys really have a real spaceship? I have to see it, please! Run! Hold on! I'm coming! Where's your spaceship? Is it really cool? <laughs> oh, no! Chase will know it was us all along. We just didn't want you to wait forever to meet your aliens. That's why we pretended to be aliens ourselves. Chase, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I knew it was you guys all the time. But it was completely awesome. Why don't you come over later tonight? We'll look at all the stars through my brand new telescope. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! This is the fish constellation. And this is the big cat constellation. These four stars are its tail. See? The kitten saw that outer space is so beautiful that you look at it forever. All of us can gaze at the stars and imagine. Treehouse! One day, Daddy was building a birdhouse with the kitty cats. Now that is a mighty fine birdhouse. Just need to find a tree to hang it in. <laughs> there, lucky bird. I always wanted to live in a treehouse when I was a kitten. Would the three of you like to have a treehouse? Wouldn't it be just wonderful to have your own special place high up above everything? Sweet. <laughs> Meow. Oh, wow. Wouldn't having a real treehouse be great? Our friends could come and visit it. We could all play games in it. Well, all right then. Looks like I'm going to build a treehouse for my wonderful kids. All right. What should your treehouse look like? Like a princess's castle with a tower. Mm-hmm. And 
with an awesome slide. Mm-hmm. And a super cool ladder to climb up. All right, then. I'll build a strong treehouse with a slide and a tower and a super cool ladder for climbing up. Just like so. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Daddy and the kitty cats gathered everything they might need to build the lovely treehouse. <clears throat> Thanks very much for your help, children, but I've got it from here. Just back off a safe distance. A construction site is no place for kids. <laughs> Oops. How oh, fooey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and come on! Boom. It turned out building the treehouse wasn't as easy as Daddy thought. Oh. We've got to figure out a way to help him. We should make him a pair of really big wings. Then he could fly while he builds it, like a birdie. Tweet, tweet! But how will Daddy be able to hammer any nails if he has to flap his arms the whole time? Right. Now, hammer, flap, 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 hammer, flap, hammer. Plus, he'd get so tired. So, worn out. Then why doesn't he build the treehouse down here and then put it up in the tree when it's finished? <laughs> but how is he going to lift up a whole house? He's not Super Cat. <laughs> Hey, I've got a really great idea. We just need to ask Smudge's dad to come and help him. He's a construction worker with his very own crane. <laughs> Smudge and his dad were happy to come and help. Meow! When something needs to be lifted up, we yell higher. Higher! And if it needs to be lower, we yell lower. You got that? Lower! Higher! Lower! <laughs> so, thanks to everybody's hard work, the treehouse was finished. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Happy treehouse warming! Cupcake Boris and Chase had made a banner for the new treehouse. Kittens, are you familiar with our best housewarming tradition? What, what tradition, tradition is that? that? A new home must be full of happy children having fun. So get in there and play. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Oh, my. This is awesome! This is so cool. <laughs> having their own treehouse was a wonderful thing. But having it full of laughing friends was even better. Rock, paper, scissors. One day, the kittens were working on a model of an island. Wow! Our dinosaur island is finally ready to go! So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Time to play dinosaurs! But wait a second! We have to clean up the mess in our room first! I've got an idea. What if we play rock, paper, scissors, and whichever of us loses, cleans up? All right, then. How do you play? Oh, it's super easy. You count to three and stick your paw out as a rock or scissor or as paper. Scissors beat paper because they can cut it. But rock wins over scissors because it can break them. Paper is the most cool, though, because the piece of paper can cover the rock. I got it. Okay, let's give it a try, Cookie. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors one, one, two, three. three. Rock, paper. Oh. The piece of paper covers up the rock, so... Candy's the winner, and I play cookie next. Rock, paper, scissors, one, two, three, scissors! Mm. Pudding wins because rock breaks scissors. Uh, uh... Uh, wait a minute. This is huh? not scissors. It's a whistle. Mm. So, 
the whistle is louder than the sound of the scissors snipping. Whistle beats scissors, then! But you're supposed to play with only rock, paper, scissors. This is the new cookie way to play. All right, we're on a hunt for objects that make us victorious. The new way should let us play all together. Rock, rock paper, scissors. scissors! Ship! Magnifying glass! Jump rope! It's longer than the glass and the ship. But the ship doesn't sink in water. The rope and glass both sink, though. Oh, uh, but you can't control the ship. But you can control the car. The car wins, the ship loses. But the hat can completely cover it, so the hat beats the toy car. The hat will get soaking wet in the rain, but not the umbrella. The wind blows away the umbrella, but not the sturdy chair. The chair didn't have wheels, but roller skates did. However, the bicycle had bigger wheels. Huh? Huh? The nail could puncture the tire. And the huh? hammer could hammer the nail. All these objects were so cool. Which of them would win? There's a hairbrush in the butter dish? Oh! The brush is harder than the butter, so the hairbrush wins. Has anybody seen where my hat got to? Huh? Oh! Goodness, what is going on in here? We were playing rock, paper, scissors, and we got a bit carried away. <laughs> well, it looks more to me like you're playing mess clutter junkyard. <laughs> Yeah, we were trying to figure out which of us had to clean up, but we just made the mess even bigger. Yeah, we shouldn't have played rock, paper, scissors, and all that other stuff. Well, I think it's time you three played a game of mop, dust, vacuum. I have a really good idea. How about instead of saying just one of us has to clean up, we all clean up together? <laughs> I'm quite fond of this new game. You're all winners. And since your room is clean again, now you can play dinosaurs. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The kitty cats had a fun day with rock, paper, scissors, ships, hats, mops, and dinosaurs. Wild adventure. One day, Grandpa took the kitty cats for a walk in the park. So today, kittens, I will be training you for an exciting wild adventure. Wild adventure? Really? I'm going to teach you to take care of yourselves in case you are ever stranded in the wild. We're going on a wild adventure! So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Imagine we're in a dark forest full of... Adventures! Look, you're surrounded by thick, dark underbrush, so you can't find the path. But look where this moss has grown. This side is always north. The moss-free side is always south. Always remember this, and you'll never lose your way. We can't get lost, Grandpa. Those signs tell us where we are. Oh, if you take a leaf, you can make it into a small cup and use it to gather water or collect food. Or you could just buy food and juice at the snack bar. Oh, we should definitely get some snacks. Oh, no, kittens. Right now it's training time. Come on, follow me. Grandpa showed the kittens how to find berries that are safe to eat. How? <laughs> And how to get rid of insects. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> buzz off! How to make a shelter to keep dry in the rain. <laughs> and this is a very useful knot. It won't let you down, see? Um, will the wild adventure get going anytime soon, Grandpa? 
We're ready for the adventure now. <laughs> you think you're that ready? Mm -hmm. All right, then. See that? That island is where we're going. Over there. Hooray! The kittens took everything they needed for their adventure with them, which was cookies and juice. Yo, see the moss? That means our boat's tied up on the little island's north side. Let's go and do some exploring on the other side of the island. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's time to head back to the boat for something yummy. <gasps> Looks like the kittens didn't get Grandpa's special knot right when they tied up the boat. Oh no, we'll be stranded on this island forever and ever. <laughs> There's no need to be afraid. Your mom and dad will come and get us before it gets dark. Oh, but it does look like it's about to rain. We need to make a shelter. I'm really hungry. And I'm really thirsty. All our supplies are in the boat, though. Remember, you can drink clean rainwater, kids. What? Just stand out there and open your mouth? We get soaked to the bone. Hey, I know what to do. The kitty cats remembered everything Grandpa had taught them. And when they reached the shore, a nice surprise was waiting for them. Mommy! Daddy! How did you find us? Well, your grandpa sent me a message saying that you needed to be picked up on the north side of the island. Oh, your lips are blue. You must be frozen. <laughs> no, Mom. We've just been eating berries. <laughs> <laughs> we had an amazing, properly wild adventure. And Grandpa taught us everything we needed. We didn't need juice and cookies after all. This day was so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The kitty cats had a great time training with Grandpa. Wild adventures are loads of fun when you know how to take care of yourself. <laughs> Daddy's Kitty Cafe. One day, Daddy was practicing a presentation for a new cafe. And that's why the Cat Cake Cafe will deliver impressive profitability with perfect products and super service. Darling, it's perfect! I'm sure the factory boss cats will approve of your proposal. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! I think it's ready to go. I'll double check all the slides are on my computer. Daddy was going to show his presentation on his laptop. Bye bye! I wonder whether or not the boss cats will like Daddy's presentation. Oh, I'd better call work and tell them I'm going to be late for the presentation. Oh, goodness, I forgot my telephone. Huh? Mommy was busy working on her new collection. Mommy! Daddy forgot to take his phone. Grandpa's trying to call him. Hello? Hey there. Good morning. I'm sorry, but it seems he left his phone home by mistake. Okay, I'll call back later then. Bye. Well, goodbye then. Now, kittens, please put this on the desk in Daddy's office. He's probably going to come back to get it. Huh? huh? Mommy! Mommy! Uh -huh. Some stranger is calling Daddy. Uh, hello? Um... Is this the stripey dentist's office? No, I think that you've got the wrong number. I'll just turn the ringer volume down. Please put the phone back on Daddy's desk. Daddy can check the list of who tried to call later. Hey, look! This call is from Daddy's office! Good afternoon! Hello? The Sweet uh? Treats boss cats are already assembled. Uh? We're all here waiting. Hello? Can you even hear me? Hello, this is Candy speaking. I'm here with Cookie and Pudding. Daddy went to work, but he forgot his phone at home. 
I see. Well, we'll just have to cancel the presentation. But Daddy worked super extra hard on it. He even rehearsed it a whole bunch of times. I'm afraid we would all need to see your father's cafe ideas right now. I have a really good idea. The three of us can make Daddy's presentation for him. The kittens turned on the phone's camera. Can you all see us? Should we start giving the presentation now? <laughs> Um, uh, you can get started, sure. Hmm. All right. <laughs> uh, uh, Our daddy's cafe will be small and cozy. Outside will be painted yellow and orange. There'll be cups and saucers, and they'll all have a paw print, just like the sign when you come in. And it'll have cute little tables. The display cases will be full of pastries and sweets. Plus, there'll be a bunch of fresh berries that you can add to your sweets. All the waiters will wear fancy uniforms. And they'll all wear hats that look like cream tarts. <laughs> also, there's, there's going, going to be... <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I got stuck in a terrible traffic jam, and somehow I forgot my phone. <laughs> Hi, kittens. Daddy! These wonderful and resourceful kittens just gave your presentation uh, for you. Really excellent work. <laughs> they did? Good job, kittens. Thanks. We're happy to say we're moving ahead with the project. Uh, one thing, what are we going to call your cafe? <laughs> well, there's really only one that makes sense. It should be Kitty Cat's Cafe. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Thanks to the Kitty Cat's clever idea to help Daddy, there will soon be a lovely new cafe in the city. Kitty Cat Circus! One day, the Kitty Cats decided to put on their very own circus. I'm going to do stunts on my bicycle. I'm going to walk the tightrope. And I'm the clown. I will be the juggler. I'll do magic tricks. I'll, uh, I'll do tightrope walking as well, I think. Cupcake's doing that already. And there's no way two kittens can walk on one tightrope because they'd get in each other's way. <laughs> what should I do then? Candy? Maybe you could be Smudge's magic show assistant. Smudge likes to scare everybody. I don't want to pull anything yucky like a bug or something out of a hat. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Wait, I know what we're still missing. An animal trainer. Oh, that's what I could do. Let's get ready to perform our acts. This show is guaranteed to be so, so awesome. awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. <laughs> Before I can be an animal trainer, though, I need an animal to train. Hey, jump through this! But the bird was too busy. The mole hmm? was too scared, and the snail was too lazy. Oh, come on, just jump already. It looks like the training session's at full swing. <laughs> but nothing that I'm doing is working. I'm a terrible animal trainer. Hmm, well, maybe you could practice on me. Daddy put on the fluffy hood from his winter coat and pretended to be a wild animal. Roar, roar. <laughs> hmm. Huh? And hop. All right, huh? jump through the hoop, Lion Daddy. Hmm. Huh? <laughs> Lion, hop. <laughs> hey, why are you listening to what I say? I'm the Lion Trainer. <laughs> Don't walk away. If you aren't going to do what I say, I'll put you in the corner. Hey, I need you for my circus show. Whoa. Huh? Oh. Huh? Mm -hmm. Roar. Oh, have we got a wild
wild animal here? But he's too wild, Mommy. He just keeps running away from me. <laughs> Why don't you try to make friends with him? <sighs> but how, when he doesn't understand me at all? Well, two things that I'm sure he would understand are love and kindness. <laughs> I have a really good idea. I will show the wild animal that I love him. That's what I'll do. And... When treated with kindness, Lion Daddy started to perform. <laughs> and soon the animal trainer act was ready. <laughs> And that's how Daddy helped Candy learn that the best way to teach someone is by using love and kindness. Dreams on Demand! One morning, the kitty cats were telling each other what they dreamt. I dreamed that I was sailing a boat on a little stream. I dreamed I was trying on a pretty new dress. I dreamt I was eating a candy bigger than my head. I wonder, if you think up a dream for yourself, will you dream it then? I'm not sure, but why don't we try it, guys? If we can make it work, then we can dream what we want every night! So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Well, I want to dream that I'm out on the ocean in a huge giant boat! I want to dream I'm a princess in a castle! My dream's about different kinds of butterflies. That night, they put their drawings under their pillows. Story time! Tonight I'll read Puss in Boots, the classic story about a famous cat. So it's morning, right? Pretty, Pretty sure, sure yeah. yeah. It didn't work at all. I dreamed I caught boots or something while I was trying to fish. Ah. Huh? Huh? Oh. Oh. It didn't work for me at all either. Well, I mean, I was a princess, but I lived in a big boot in my dream. It's because of the book Daddy read us last night. Puss in Boots. Were there boots in your dreams, too? There were. I dreamt I was wearing these freaky boots full of sweets. I wonder why there's food in all of your dreams, Pudding. I'm not sure. Well, maybe it's because I always think about food a lot when I'm drifting off. Pudding, you're a genius! We should be focusing on the dreams we want all day! So the kitty cats spent the whole day thinking hard about what they wanted to see in their dreams. I'm a princess. I'm a princess. Really big, fast ship. Really big and fast ship. Some butterflies. Butterflies. Lots of butterflies. And when it came time for Daddy's bedtime story... Story time! Little Red Riding Hood! Thanks, <laughs> I'm a princess. Butterflies. Giant ship. I'm a princess. Butterflies. Giant ship. Thanks a lot. You made me dream all night about butterflies. Well, I dreamt all night that I was some kind of princess. And I dreamed that I was in a giant ship with butterfly wings on it. Our dreams got all jumbled up because we overheard each other. I have a really good idea. We should try not talking today so we won't mix up each other's dreams. The kittens worked so hard concentrating on their dreams that they wore themselves out. So when they slept, they were too tired to dream at all. All we did yesterday was think really hard about what we wanted our dreams to be. And then we had no dreams at all. 
I don't understand why we can't see dreams on demand. Huh, maybe it's because it just isn't possible. Our dreams are a mysterious, wonderful surprise. That's what makes them so great. And for dreams to be really rich and interesting, we must do as many fun, interesting things as we can every day to collect experiences. Hey, hey that's, that's right! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The kittens found lots of interesting and useful things to do all day. And after collecting all these experiences, quickly fell asleep. And all three of them were surprised with dreams about new, unique, and fascinating things. Willpower. One day, Daddy baked some lovely muffins. Oh! Ooh, yumminess alert! Now, kittens, the muffins need to cool for a bit. You can all have a muffin once they're cool, after supper. Supper? But that's ages and ages away. Well, you'll just have to use a little willpower. Uh, willpower? What's that? Willpower helps us when we need to stick to a decision we've made, even if it's hard and we don't really want to go through with it. Like not eating muffins before supper. Oh. Having them now would ruin your appetite. Oh. Let's make it a game for you. The kittens who don't eat a muffin before supper will get a lovely prize. Prize! So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Sounds like we have a deal then. Just one delicious muffin. They just smell so good. Let's use your willpower. Why don't you play a game of chess? That'll keep your mind off of muffins. Ooh. Or take your robot and play with candy for a little while. I'll be back in just a moment. Uh, I'm going to take huh? these into the kitchen. That way they won't tempt anyone. Cookie! I've got an idea. The three of us should go out to the playground. There won't be any muffins out there. <laughs> Everyone, I've got a surprise. My mommy just baked all these beautiful and delicious muffins. Go on, have some. Huh? Ah! No! Remember to use your willpower. We promised mommy that we wouldn't have any muffins at all before supper. Yeah, but this isn't one of the muffins from our house. But if we eat them now, we won't be hungry when supper time comes. You must remember your willpower. Come on, I'm taking you home. Muffin! Tasty muffin! <laughs> Maybe Cookie really is super hungry. Let's get him a banana or something. Wow. Look at how fluffy they are. <gasps> Bet they're super yummy as well. Ah! <laughs> give me the muffins! No, give them to me! <laughs> no! <laughs> Oh, no! You ate all of them? Uh, now, kittens, what happened to the muffins? Are you telling me you didn't follow the rules of the game? We tried. We honestly really tried to use our willpower. But, well, in the end, I guess we just couldn't do it. We didn't eat the muffins. That means we win! Huh? Oh, wow. We thought you ate them all. I dreamed of these muffins all day, but when I realized you wanted to eat them as much as I did, I decided to help you by hiding them. I've learned something awesome. If the three of us always help each other to get through it when something's difficult, then together we can do anything. 
thing. You're right about that, Candy. And because the three of you have done so well, you've earned some wonderful prizes. I made you some new t-shirts, so everyone will know that you have wonderful willpower. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Wow! I'd like to try that just like you and really test my willpower. I'd love that. But first, let's all play a game of tag. So we can build an even bigger appetite. <laughs> <laughs> so the kittens learned all about willpower and how it's easier to stick to something if you can all help each other. <laughs> Thank you.